Fortunately, when I was about to leave school, I met an American physician who had been told right. that we shall get jobs mm-hmm. in hospital mm-hmm. and we'll work after. But then when we were graduating, the government wasn't taking any of us. Making money shouldn't be very hard. <laughs> <laughs> so you started, mm-hmm. you created a job for yourself. Yes. So my uncle gives me a book, Think and Grow Rich by yes. Napoleon Hill. Right. And in that book, they were saying the best way to go for an interview is to give a, a proposition to the person you're going to interview. Okay. Who's going to interview you and tell them how you're going to make them money. Yes. So I write to this old lady, I tell them, you know, I'm freshly graduating from school, I can add value. The same way that book demonstrated how you write CV. Okay. So I go in with them, so what are you going to do? I'm like, I'll be doing 10 patients every day for physiotherapy. I like, like your ambition. Yes. <laughs> so they're like, how? Oh. Like I'm going to talk. That's when I noticed that when last I had studied physiotherapy and I was excited about this profession, right. there was no market for it. If the market is there, right. they can't afford to pay for it. Okay. At that time, even health insurance in Uganda wouldn't cover physiotherapy. Oh my. So I get into private practice, I go to SAS clinic, wonderful thing, I had the best mentor. Oh. That was Dr. Grace Kaisa who taught me a few things. Mm. And I think it's the best head start she gave me in life as a clinician. Wow. Now it was to teach my other people I work with at SAS clinic so that my department works. So I'd been writing to Talo Oil, like Talo, I want to do business with you, but they're not getting back to me. Okay. And I went with Julian for one meeting. In 10 minutes she closed the business. Now, that's when I said to notice the discrepancies, that there's, there's something I'm missing. After that, I'm like, uh, uh, Julian is not giving me the money I want. I'll leave. Okay. Get a space or come, come on just straight. Yes. I called my customers. Now, I've left those ones. I am here. Come on, they treat you. <laughs> Did uh-huh. you think I saw any? I first uh, the first one week. Hello. Hey, who is it? Oh, well done. You left the place. Oh, oh, one guy turns up. Uh huh. I was like, but Adrian, you don't have good parking here. I'm like, I don't have parking. Like, what's wrong with this patient? Your back is paining, and you're here telling me about what? Parking. But <laughs> your target market, they come driving. Do maybe, I know maybe, that? They are, maybe they are sitting so much. Do, I, do I know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, me, I'm a therapist as long as I'm a good therapist. Yes. Period. I'd watch the Mark Zuckerbergs. I'd yes. watch the story of Google that you know you can talk to someone and they give you money. Okay, so <laughs> this time round, <laughs> you are, you don't want to start without to market. <laughs> you want someone to give you seed capital. Seed capital, yes. In your business. Mm. So you are scouting around and then you land on an investor who tells you I have ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars is here. Mm. And she was one of my patients. Okay. Mm. So okay. she was investing in me. You mm. because of the quality of work that you do. Mm. I went got some mm. Chinese wrote to the Chinese. I branded, I brought goals, well branded Adrian's practice goals. Bring it. Ha. Now my business partner told me. She brought a 10K. Uh-huh. I gave her 40 percent capital equity in equity. the company. Yes. Went, sold those things, chop, 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 chop. Then another contract comes through, business is booming. The first investor mm-hmm. was because you had is someone who knows is someone who knows you and you've given them a service before. Yes. And they're like, this guy can do good work. So mm. first is uh, investment is not about having everything right. Mm -hmm. It's also about having a personal relationship, understanding understanding. with the person who is going to invest in you. But that is just one form of capital. The other form of capital which has led you here Mm -hmm. before you touch the money Mm -hmm. is the network that you have. As an entrepreneur, right. I never knew anything about business law. Okay. And how a company is formed and what it entails. Okay. We never had the rules of engagement agreed from the time ago. There was no agreement? There are no arguments. 
you were hungry for the investment that you took the money without, yes, without other question. considerations mm -hmm. and without other questions. Uh, let's talk briefly about um, the impact of investment, mm. getting investment without full knowledge or without full understanding. I think it's one of the suicidal things that can happen to you. To an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. Yes. It's very cumbersome. Right. A company makes money, money. Hmm, huh? and is able to pay its staff. Its staff. Then the next time it's able to pay investors. Investors. Then it's able to save. Okay. So those are the three stages a company has to go through. In 2018, I'm talking to this professor. All right. And he tells me, Adrian, I need proof of concept. And we record you, man. I need to come see something and you tell me, oh, this is my best. Uh -huh. This is my clinic. Mm -hmm. This is where I practice. And whatever you tell me you're good at. I need to come see you being a good Enough. Artist. Right. I'm like, okay. That's when that thing of TBN is going around. Yes. Of training a health cohort. That was, yes. I think, that was your second cohort. Yeah, that was our second health cohort in Yeah, Uganda. you had oh, the guys in TBN give us our Excel sheets. I, I like uh, where, where I, I, I know Linya all the time. Yes. I was like, you see, these sheets I'm giving you. So many people waste a lot of money buying very expensive what? Softwares. Softwares. Yes. But this is a good sheet you can use yes. in your business. Just worst case scenario, best case scenario. Yes. Watch these numbers every day before you go to sleep and every day when you wake up. Wow. So TBN engages us every now and then. The beauty about why I bring TBN is yes. the place where I meet my investors. My people of the likelihoods. Oh yes. <laughs> so when I, this time, by the time I really came in, I was saying yes. I'm talking to Dr. Cosmas right. because now I know when I have a problem, there's you another entrepreneur mm -hmm. in the same field like me. Yes. Who I can tell I have a problem, and he's going to laugh about it. Like, hey, I also do. <laughs> 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 hmm? Yes. Right now, where we are at the business, I'm getting to see so many things that any entrepreneur you need more building okay capacity building capacity building continuous capacity capacity building. Build, continuous capacity building mm -hmm. then we think about money because even the conversation today that i was having with the shoulder was yes. so initially when i first wrote to them when i was coming from Nairobi, i was like i need a hundred million okay so after a period of time they are, are in relationship manager tells me hey when i finish up i'm like but i don't really think i need a hundred million uh -huh. i think i need 50. Now today, after having a very good conversation, I'm like, I really think I need another 50 million? I don't really think I need what? Money. Right. I need some technical expertise. Assistance. Right. So that I can have a proper matrix of the, how does my patient get back to me? Mm -hmm. From the time they called me to the time they are here. Right. What how do we what are the matrices we're going to use? Right. The market for this service is there. Right. But I'll tell you, no one has sold rehabilitation in this country. No one has sold it. And mm. no one has invested into it as right. a business. And we need to invest. And we need the investors who understand the what healthcare is. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Thank you so much. You're welcome.